Hello, I'm Martin and welcome to this DBC tutorial. Today we're going to talk about time series solves as opposed to our normal continuous noise source frequency based solves. So we have here a simple source and we're going to set up our calculation for a time series solve. Currently we have to use the DBC Ray Solver, which is the only solver currently capable of doing a time series solve. Now we go to our, our source, which is currently a spectrum based source, and we click on the time series button. And we'll be asked if we do want to change over to a time series calculation type, as that will now ignore our spectral data and do so for all the sources currently active. So we import our time series data from a file, and here is an example file. Uh, you can see the, the time series plotted in the window there. And here's the format of how that file looks internally. So each line in the text file is one sample, giving the raw pressure value in pascals. In a future version, we plan to have import for WAV files and the like, but for the moment, this is the format. We also have to tell DBC the sample rate, that file that we just imported, and then it will calculate the levels within each band that we're looking at, and also the SEL, SPL peak, SPL peak to peak values. We can also add in mitigation here if we want to. And if we so choose, we can also uh, add directivity. The final thing to set up before we do our solve is to tell DBC what type of output sound levels we want to see. For a frequency-based solve, we don't need to make this decision before solving. But for our time series solve, we have to make that choice before we hit solve. So I'm going to choose SEL for this example. And now we're ready to solve. Uh, now this solve in this example takes about uh, five minutes, so I'm just going to fast forward through that. And here we have our solved problem. And we can investigate the levels uh, much as we normally would, using a probe or the cross-section tool um, we can export and do all the normal things that we would uh, like to do. So I hope that's explained how to use the time series functionality in DBC. Thanks very much for watching.